What's up guys, Zergers here playing a little drop zone on Parish. And Parish is the smallest of the three maps that just came out uh, on the DLC for MW3. And this map is awesome, dude. It's it's close corner, instant action. Um, it's basically just a square with a little alley down the middle, and you've got like a church there, so you got a building, but everywhere in this map is just constant action. The the domination flags are really close. This is the one I was talking about on Gulch where, um, you know, A and C are really close and people just skip the flags and go straight there. You don't see it here because obviously this is not Domination's drop zone, but uh, even in drop zone, you know, they had uh, like three drop zones in terminal and even this is a smaller map, they've got more drop zone areas, which is really nice. And right here, you can hop up on this little partial wall and shoot over top of the other wall. So... Even if it's not drop zone, you're playing domination or something, try and keep that in mind. It's a really nice little spot there. Um, and then to my right here, you'll see kind of on the reverse side of the window. That's what I was talking about where you can strafe jump out to the right. There's a window there where you can kind of no scope back into the church, make for a really nice montage clip. But I had a lot of people leaving me comments in that last commentary in gold saying, hey, we would like to see the new maps. So I figured I'd do like this really short commentary, just show you kind of the basic layout of uh, Parish, and then I'll do... Uh, another commentary over Boardwalk, either Sunday or Monday. I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm going to be taking off here in a little bit. going to go check out a house. Like I said, I'm, I'm moving to be closer to uh, to uh, college or campus or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to go check out a house today. And if it doesn't look nice, then I'm just going to go get an apartment and say screw it and stop procrastinating on moving because I've been saying it for a while. And I'm just never going to do it because I'm way too picky when it comes to to houses or location or whatever you want to call it. So anyway, that's what I got planned for today. But I also had a lot of people leaving comments on um, uh, my Modern Warfare 3 stats video asking about like the win-loss. They said, you know, uh, when it comes to your win-loss, they're like... Uh, do you, you know, not even play at all if there's people not on, do you, you know, because you have to play with, like, a full group of six and drop zone or, you know, nine and, oh, check this out. Oh, one, two, three. Second chance on your sniper? No way. <laughs> but uh, they said, you know, you, you've got to be playing with a full party to keep that win-loss or you got to be dashboarding. In reality, I have never dashboarded in MW3. Never. And... When it comes to drop zone, we run with no more than four people on a team. Like, we don't, we always want like at least two randoms when it comes to um, drop zone. Now, when we played early on, we would play six people in domination just so the spawns didn't get flipped. And then later on, we ended up, uh, you know, kind of mixing it up with ground war, and then we would only play with five. So, from the first couple months of MW3, we always <clears throat> wanted to have that. Those randoms in there mixing up the spawns, causing different shot points to open up. So, if you're wondering about the win-loss, there you go. Hope you enjoyed the com. I'll post another one up soon. I'm out. Deuces.